Let's take this interactive drop-down menu we made in a previous video and make it fully mobile responsive. Let's get started. Here is what we're starting out with, and if we switch to tablet, our menu automatically switches to a hamburger menu. Let's start by increasing the sizes of our logo and our button, and make the icon smaller both on regular and hover. Then we'll move this hamburger to the far right and place our button right beside it. It looks great. Now we can start editing the menu. Click edit menu, and first we'll add some dividers, because next we're going to hop into layout and then drop down layout. Change item display to always open open and reduce the space between our items, and then just leave everything else exactly how it is. Now selecting the background, we can grab our menu container settings and turn off these two settings because we're going to stretch our menu container to 100% of the width of our screen. Since we have a lot of space, let's add in our cards from desktop. I'll add in a 2x2 CSS grid, and since the visuals don't carry over from desktop to tablet and mobile, we'll paste the cards from desktop and arrange them something like this. Our tablet screen is looking really good, so let's move on to mobile. Once again, make sure to decrease the size of the icon both on regular and on hover, and then hop into edit menu. Selecting the background, we can access settings and turn on tap to close and background overlay because our menu will only be part width on mobile. Adjust the space between the items in this layout tab, and then finally we'll take our 2x2 grid and change it to a 3x1. Rearrange the cards and drag it down just like so. Importantly, in the right panel, make sure overflow content is set to scroll and the direction is vertical. And there we go, we've built a responsive and interactive drop down menu in Wix Studio that looks great on desktop and also looks great on tablet and mobile. Want to see more of these? Check out another tutorial.